Hey guys, welcome to Body Pro Coach Train to Look Good program. This is volume number 59. Welcome to the program. It's about supersetting, which means that we're going to do two exercises to create more hypertrophy. This is going to be an advanced variation of exercise, but if you're a beginner, you can definitely do the program just by taking some light amount of dumbbells, all right? So, you want to make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell icon, that you always get to know about our new videos, and at the same time, whenever we go live. All right, a few things that you need for the routine is going to be that two different pair of dumbbells, one could be the light one, and one could be the middle of the one, all right? So, we're going to start with some warm-up, then we're going to move on with the exercise of the main zone. So this is going to be 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off on the routine. Let's go. In the next 10 seconds, we're going to start with some high knees. So that's going to be warm-up. That's going to lift the heart rate up and make you ready for the workout. Let's go. 20 seconds. Stay up. A nice and smooth routine. So you're going to try and bring the knee up as high as possible. Stay here. Last 10 seconds. The next movement is going to be jumping jacks. Last three, two, and one. Relax. Now the next one is going to be jump jacks for 20 seconds. So relax, breathe out, and back again. We're starting in three seconds. Three, two, one, go. So smooth movement, land your feet wide, bring it back again. Stay here. Last 10 seconds. Last five. And then relax. The next one is going to be hammer kicks. We're going to take one foot back, kick that over the head, and change, and the other one comes in place. Just going three, two, one. Left. One, switch legs. One. Reduce your hands. Two, create a little more heavy movements. As you bring the kick up, breathe out. Last two seconds, one more. Next movement is going to be hip roll, right and left. We're starting in three, two, one. Hip roll, right and left, or left and right. So just bring your knee up and roll outside. Last five seconds. Last one. The next one is going to be shoulder rolls to the back and to the front. So let's start with the front first. In three, two, one. Start starting it and just roll. Try to find that full range of motion on the shoulders. Ten more seconds. So as you bring it back, exhale here. Exhale here. Stay on. Last three. Two, same thing goes to the back now. Great to be encouraged to do this kind of routine at home. It takes only 30 minutes. All right, let's go to the back now. Same movement. You want to make sure that you're not leaning back while the movement goes on. You keep the back straight, brace it down, and just roll smoothly to the back. Stay there. Last three seconds. Two, and one. Good job. Take a little breather, grab some water, come back in, in the next 30 seconds. We're going to go on the main zone as 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. This is going to be the first run, so let's get it going. All right, so everybody, so next 10 seconds, we're going to go into push up, so you're going to keep hands wide here. And from here, drop down all the way and come up. You have no option to drop on the knees. And do the same thing. Let's go. 40 seconds. Slow rhythm. Come up quickly. Come back up and breathe out. Exhale, guys. Next set is going to be squats. So we're going to use the dumbbell to engage more resistance. So the same thing you can do to get more work is that take two pair of dumbbell, one pair of dumbbell, and then you're going to find some extra range here. Okay? This is the second option that you have. Be on the knees and press it up. So come all the way up, extend the elbows and bring it down. This adds more range, which means more muscle work. Last five seconds. 
20 seconds. Great. So we got three rounds to work in overall. The next one is going to be this squat. So you're going to grab the bigger dumbbell, heavy dumbbell. We're going to place on the shoulders and then we're going to squat down for the next 40 seconds. 4 0. Alright? So I'm showing the side view right now. So you're going to keep the knees out, feet wide, push and come back up. Same work. So feet is going to be wide towards pointing out. Squat down and come up. If you're tired, you can put the dumbbell down or else stay on. 40 seconds of work. 20 seconds down. Last 15 coming up. Last 10. Three, two, and one. Great job. We're going to go back to push ups. So you can use the option of double to get more range, or else we can do the normal ones. Option to be the knees or on the toes. All right, so 40 seconds, press it up. Try to come down to find a stretch in your shoulders, chest. Come back and breathe out. Stay here. Ah, oh, man. You can feel a lot of body coming in the chest, that's exactly what you want. So go down, really stretch and breathe out for the last 8 seconds now. Last 2, 2, and press up. So take the load, take the resistance based on your fitness levels. Round number 2 comes in, and then you discuss the area with dumbbells, or you can go with the body weight. We're starting in five seconds. All right, let's go. So you're gonna keep the knees out, feet wide, push, and come back up. Stand away, so feet is gonna be wide towards pointing out. Squat down and come up. If you're tired, you can put the dumbbell down, or else stay on. 40 seconds of work. 20 seconds down. Last 15 coming up. Last 10. Three, two, and one. Great job. We're going to go back to the push ups. So you can use the option of double to get more range, or else we can do the normal ones. Option to be the knees or on the toes. All right, let's go. Push it up. So it's all about pushing it up. So last 10 seconds, let's try to create range on the toes. If you're more fit up, be on the toes from the beginning. Let's half it down. All right, so I'm fatigued. Here comes the last five seconds. I want to get on the toes and push it up. Now, let's go. It's tough, but it's good. We got five seconds. Last two. Alright. The next one is going to be squat with the weights, or you could use the body weight. So, first set up 10 kg each side, then I did body weight. Now I'm choosing. The five kg is an option. Let's go. You have time? Send it up. So this is a advanced level of variations or TTAG routine 59, which is a resistance or the load to create more muscle fatigue. All right, here we go. Last 20 seconds. So you have 15 more. The key point is to keep the shoulders back, sitting down lower, at the same time coming up and breathing out. Last five, three, two, and great. 
But right, listen up. We're done with three rounds of the first set of exercise. Now it's going to be a minute break. We're going back to the set number two. Okay, we're going to be doing some dumbbell press on the chest on a bench. Or as an option, you can choose the floor in some dynamic lunges. Alright, so, okay, tiny bench. I look like my daughter's bench. But I'm gonna use it today. So, use the little heavy dumbbell that we have already, you got 20 seconds to start. Yeah. Then we got lunges to go. So, back to back. This is the movement. We've got 10 seconds to start. Lie down here and press and bring back. I can barely come on this bench. Alright, 3, 2, 1, and bring it up. 40 seconds of the press. So I'm gonna press, bring it down on two counts, and press on one pound. So two and one. Alright, good job. Stay on. You can definitely take more heavy dumbbells if it's possible for you. Stay up. Knees to bend. Push the low back to the bench. 15 seconds. Oh man. So I'm fatigued. So you can be at home and get completely fit with hypertrophy. So when I say hypertrophy, that term used to grow the muscles. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, and change. Good. Alright, listen up. You could use the dumbbell for the next exercise, or else just go with the body weight. So the body weight is gonna look like this. So drop and pick it up on the line. So yeah. In five seconds to start. Set up your leg your legs. The heel up, drop, pull up back. Stay here. So you can see the 90 degree setup. The heel up, the knee bent, and keep coming back. Switching on right and left for 40 seconds. Stay in the work. So drop, get the back straight. Nice and smooth, stand up. And then you breathe out, then you exhale. Stay down. All right, last 10 seconds. You can use your hands to little bounce. Good job, guys. Stay on. Take a break. Round number one is done. Now the round number two comes. You can increase intensity by taking more weight, yeah? In either of the movements. In 10 seconds, on the chest press, on the floor, or on the bench. Pressing now. So I press. More you focus on the chest muscles and squeeze them harder. Great work, stay over. So you want to push that muscle in and it will skew the center of the chest. That's the focus that we have. So when you contract, you breathe out, you exhale. Stay there. So the elbows, if you look at the elbows, they're pointing out and then you bring in close and final full extension. All right, stay here for the last 10 seconds. All right, last five seconds. Three, two, one, and change. Okay, this time, let's take some weight. That's going to be the dumbbells. So you can choose the dumbbells that you want, a five or a 10. Okay, so let's go. In this 10 seconds. We're stepping up on the top. Just drop and lift. You can use the dumbbell as an apt option. If you're new to the program, you can use the body weight, not necessarily use the dumbbell. But whenever you use weight, you get better results. Side view. It's very important that you track the knees back and lift the heel up to get the right alignment on the lunge. Stay here. We're going to last 10 seconds. Let's go, last two seconds. Good job. Okay, the last set is going to be on this set, then you've got a break of a minute. So I'm going to get a dumbbell bench by side now and do with you guys on the floor, yeah? Now this is an option. Starting with these skills, three, two, one, go. 
So bring it on the back to the floor and just extend up. You can do the you can do the exercise still on the bench. This is just an option I'm showing you. So the focus is to bring it down in two counts and press it up on one count. Stay here. Good work. 15 seconds to go. Stay focused. I want you to think about the chest muscle and then you breathe out. Two things, okay? Oh, this feels good. You feel fatigued for the last 10 seconds. Maybe two more reps. And one more. Correct. All right, let's go. The next one is going to be lunges once again. This time I choose to go with the dumbbell again. Yeah, but you have an option to do body weight. But to get faster results, of course, dumbbell is an option. So step up to the lunge, step back to standing posture, and straight back. One right, one left, make sure the feet comes up, make sure shoulder blades stays back. Stay here. Alright, halfway down. 20 more seconds to go. We got one more set of exercises, which means three more rounds to go on the exercise. After one minute break. Last five seconds. Alright, done. We would need the bench or you can do it in the floor again. Grab some water and let's get on with it. So my bench is ready. You can do it on the floor also, but you got one minute break. Alright, let's get ready. Next 30 seconds. So we line the bench on the back. Open the hands to the back with the dumbbell. Bring it back. So we're gonna keep the elbows lightly soft to really create tension on the muscle of the chest. All right. So we're here. Then we got some squat jumps, yeah? As an extra option. So, bring it up, lie down. From here, the rows are like soft. Open where the elbow comes to the bench level, and bring it back. Soft elbow, squeeze the muscle of the chest. Squeeze the muscle of the chest. You want to actually lie down on the bench completely, I'm lying down halfway because this is too small for me. Stay here, we're done in 22 seconds. So push it up, breathe out, focus on the chest, brace your abdominals, lower back fully intact to the bench. Stay here. Last five seconds, five, three, two, last one. Okay, done, change. Next one is gonna be squat jumps. So we're going to take a stand to the feet, then we're going to jump up and jump down. We're going to start in a few seconds now. Oh. Where did you go? In 3, 2, 1, jump up. So you want to track the knees outside. The second thing is to keep the back straight. You have a tendency to bend forward. You will do this. Yeah? You want to make sure that you stand straight and drop the butt down. This is what you want. We want the butt to travel down. To engage the muscles. Stay here. Halfway down. We've got three rounds to work. This is round number one. Jump up. So lift the heel up. Push the heel off the floor to create more work. Stay here. Last two seconds. And down. Good job. Nice work. So we combine things. We now. This is an advanced routine. We have weight, we have body weight, we got plyometrics. A lot of things. Now, run the two down to the place. So you turn up, let's go. Extend, bring it back. Open wide, bring it back. So I love when you want to feel a stretch, when you close my eyes, I want you to feel the contraction, okay? With the muscles that excuse me each other. TTLG videos 
And the kick is to really get the results. With the good diet man. With the good lifestyle. So stay here. Eight more seconds. Here comes the last three seconds, which means one more rep. Great. Okay. You guys are back on the same thing. Squat jumps. Round number two. Ah. Oh. Last 10 seconds to start. We're starting. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Drop the butt. I thought you didn't move it already. Want to focus on the butt and come back up. Good. Stay on. Round two. We're going to go one more round. Side view. Stand here. Uh, you can feel your cartilage is burning. That's exactly how you, how you want to feel, yeah? Last 10. If you can't jump, you can squat. It's fine. Stand here. Stand here, last two. Uh, trust me, the maximum fatigue that it feels in the cartilage set the squat jumps. Okay. Last one, and you're almost done with the main zone of the exercise. Ah, good job, guys. All right, and get back. Last one, the exercise. Then we got the core to go. Ah. Stay here. Wide open, bring it back. Twenty more seconds. So make sure that you share it out with your friends and family that they get a talent which provides almost everything for free to make you fit. Last four seconds. Three, two, one. I oh, want to make a job. Okay. Put it back now. You don't need the bench anymore. We just need the body to work. Eight more seconds. Alright, uh, so feet. Three, two, one, squat jumps. Drop down the squat and come back up. You know the option. You can just do the squat. Or lift the heel. Come up, lift the heel. Last 20. Stay on. Second watch. I'm not making my knees pretty straight. It's a bit soft at the top. Stay on last eight seconds. Last three, two, half. One. All right, guys. It's time for the core. Good job, Dan. I really appreciate your efforts. Ten seconds to start on. Half. Forty-five seconds to work. Alright. On the plank, drop down here. Forty-five seconds on here. Ten seconds over. Now listen up. Squeeze your belly in and squeeze your butt cheek, okay? Yeah? You'll feel the work happening to the abdomen. The next one is gonna be hip extensions. Stay over. Over the last 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Change. Now get back. This is your now. So here, we're going to lie down. Then bring the hips up and down, okay? We're starting in five, four, three, two, start down. Raise it up. Now listen up, excuse the butt. We want this to happen here, okay? When this is happening, we'll feel the work in the lower back. We need two things. Glutes and lower back. Excuse up. Good job. We're going to keep the shoulders down to the floor. Stay here. Lift the hips up. Breathe up. You exhale. Four, 
fitness is always fun. But it becomes fun when you do it with consistency. So make sure that when you take up a program, you are consistent. Stay here. Next one is going to be Superman in three, two, one. So lie on your stomach now. Or you raise your hands and raise your legs together. Okay. On the back. So hands forward, lengthen the hands forward. Lift the legs up. Lift the hands up. Stay here. So I want you to lift the heel and the foot a little more higher that you can feel the contraction on the glutes. Stay here. So lengthen, put the feet on and stay here. You may feel like the Superman. Try to fly a bit. You may. Good job guys, stay on. You want to spread the fingers around. Let you create some force on the fingers. Last 15. The next exercise is going to be on your back. That's going to be leg raises. We've got one more round of the same thing. Three, two, one, and change. Once you're back now, your hands comes under the lower back, okay? So from here, we're going to go on the leg raises for the next 45 seconds. We'll repeat the complete round of four for once again. Raise it up, bring it down. Squeeze it down. So listen up. The breathe out is when your leg, leg comes towards the chest or the hip, okay? You're going to breathe out. Stay here. We've got 15 seconds to go. Now the last 15 comes in place. Don't you be finding straight to create more stress or more load onto the abdomen. Stay here for last five, four, three, two, and good. Great job, guys. 15 seconds of rest. Let's roll on the complete round of four exercises. 45 seconds each. Turn around on the plank now. All right, so in three, two, one, uplift. Stay here. All right, just 20 more seconds now. Last 15. Next exercise is going to be hip extension. So you're going to be in the back. Last five. Three, two, and one. Drop the knees, lie back, hands by the side. We're starting in five seconds, okay? Let's go start now. Excuse up, down, breathe out, down. Shoulder blades, maybe from the ears, and keep it down now. Stay here. Excuse the back cheek. Breathe out. Do it. Push as high as possible. Halfway down. 22 seconds to go. You definitely want to check out Mehex Core Pilates and Kids Fitness to really work out with the family. And trust me, I love it. Last two seconds and relax. Time for Superman and time for leg raises after that. So two more exercises and you're done with volume number 59. I totally saw it takes about 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna start now. Stay here. It's contract, pull, contract, pull. Guys, there's about 
25 seconds down, we've got 20 more seconds. And you know that you're, some of them are really getting tired, but that's what we need. We can drop down a little bit, that's okay. We stay here. Last 10 seconds. You have an option to drop down the intensity by taking it a little lower, but stick with me. Last three, two, one, and drop down slowly. Change, onto the leg resist now. This routine can probably get you more than what you do in the gym because you're focusing on high intensity and short breaks, which means you're definitely training the muscles and your internal organs like your heart, your lungs, all these things. So, highly recommended program. To be fit, to be lean. So yeah, we're done with 15 seconds. So the, the hand stays underneath is just to support the overall movement, okay? So you can keep it wherever you want. You can keep it here, that's fine, because that's difficult. So I'm gonna keep it under the butt to create that smooth movement and to get more reps. Last five seconds. Last three, two, and down. Great job. Oh man. Some of you must have felt a little hard in your challenge, but that's how we get fit up. Okay, we're well, gonna start with quick stretches now. So on the line, sorry, on the line of integration, we're gonna cross the legs over and look over to the other side right now. So you should feel a stretch happening to the glutes and measure it to the lumbar, that's the spine section. Let's stay here for 20 seconds. So try to push that knee to the floor. Keep this hand firmly on the floor now. Last three, two, and one. Switch for 10 seconds. We're doing the other side right now. So which means your left knee or the right knee, whichever you've done the last. Opposite side, bring it down, bring it to the floor now. Let's go. Stay here. Your chin back and looking at the palm on the other side. Stay here. We've got last 10 seconds to go. All right, last five, four, three, two, one, and change. Next is gonna be the butterfly stretch. So let's now sit down, take your feet as close to you, then you're gonna lean forward, okay? So bring your feet close. Now I want you to get the spine straight, and then you push forward towards the back and butt. We've got 10 seconds more to go. Stay a little lean forward. If you can, push the knee down to the floor as much as possible. Last three, two, one, and change. All right, guys, so you're going to be placing the palms underneath the shoulders. Firmly, I want you to drop the spine down and lift the spine up. We're starting in three, two, one, drop, exhale, and lift. Drop. Exhale and lift. So that's it's the full range of motion. So push the scalpel out and be firm over here. With the last 10 seconds to go. Last three, two, and one. All right, guys. So very amazingly, we have finished volume number 59 of the TTMG program. I'm sure that you love the program. I'm sure that you guys are getting a lot of results. You want to definitely check out the other playlist of ours. That tells you about the recipes and the information, which means that how to do an intermittent fasting, what are the few reasons of getting results or not getting results. So please scroll down on the place that you understand everything that I'm talking about right now. And please understand, it's completely free, which means that we're genuinely looking forward to help you to get fit up. So I need help from you guys. That's that. Please like and share the video with your friends and family that when I get to help them. So I look forward to see you in the next video. Till then, you guys take care. We got videos almost six times a week. Videos, vlogs, and number of things that we're trying to get you guys that you guys get fit as soon as possible. Lots of love. I'll see you next time.